Hello, welcome to this another video in our channel Medical and Dental Vocabulary Skills. In today's video, I am talking about prefixes. Medical terminologies can be confusing and hard to memorize if you don't break them up into their roots and understand their etymology. Once you learn how to do that, medical and dental vocabulary is fantastic to study. In fact, anatomy is all about vocabulary. If you master Latin and Greek roots, prefixes and suffixes, your job is over. In today's video, I will be discussing how the knowledge of prefixes can help you master your both medical and non-medical vocabulary. A prefix is the first building block of a word division that begins a term. It is attached to the word root. Prefix, the word, um, prefix, pre itself is a prefix. A prefix alters the words meaning by indicating number, color, size, location, or condition, or many other different meanings to it. Prefixes denoting quantity and number. Some of the examples I'm giving here, for example, the prefix a or n, it means without. An example is in the case of anemia. Amia that is for blood and anemia means absence of blood or loss of blood by means two or double the prefix hemi or semi means half hemisection hemisphere semicircle okay and the prefix mono it means one monomer monopoly monocotyledons there are many prefix poly means many Polymerization, polygon, polycythemia. The prefix prim means first. For example, primary. The primary tooth are the teeth that come first in the mouth of human body. And prefix quad denotes four. Quadrant, quadrangular, quadruped. Prefix tri means three. An example is trizeminal. The knob that has three divisions, trizeminal knob. Uni means one. Unilateral. And there are some prefixes which denote the color. And it is quite beneficial if you memorize them. Elvis means white. An example is albumin. If you remember the character Elvis Dumbledore from the Harry Potter, why was he named Elvis? Because he was white and all his hairs and beard were also white. Prefix chloro means green, as in chlorophyll. Sino means blue, sinuses. Erythro means red, as in erythroplakia, erythrocyte. Leuco means white as in leucoplakia, melano means black, melanocyte, melanoma, melanosis, xantho means yellow, xanthoma. Prefixes denoting size a degree. Uh, some prefixes like hyper, hypo, micro, macro, pan, ultra, all this denote size a degree. Hyper means over or excess, hypo under or below. Examples are given here, I am not going to recite all one by one. Micro, small, a minute, pan, all run, panoramic radiograph. Panacea, that is the medicine that cures all diseases called panacea. Ultrasound, ultrasonic. That is beyond the um, beyond the frequency of sound. Okay, those uh, waves which have the frequency higher than the sound, greater than 20,000 hertz, these are ultrasonic. And prefixes denoting location or direction. Heb means away from. Aid towards, like adjacent. Ina means apart or analysis. And NT that means in the form, anterior, antenatal. Icto means outside, endo, within, EP, open, over, epidermis. 
epigallix exomins out from there are some other prefixes denoting location such like infra that is under or below as in infra or vital also the para which means near or beside for example paranasal sinuses and also retro that means behind or back and as in the example retromolar retrocuspid papilla that is behind the cuspid and supra which means above or over supra or vital and trans means through trans or vital transpharyngeal like this and there are some prefixes which denote the condition anti means opposite antiseptic bradi means slope bradycardia con means with connective contra means against contralateral contraindicated neo means new tachy means fast tachypnea tachycardia mal means bad malocclusion malformation etc i hope this uh, prefixes will give you idea how these prefixes can help you improve your vocabulary and um, make maximum use of these prefixes and try to learn more and more and whenever you see any new vocabulary any new word try to break down break it down into prefixes or root and suffixes our next video will be on suffixes uh, it will come very soon stay updated please share and subscribe thank you very much